as a society, we are continuously finding new breakthroughs and ideas, whether that is repurposing existing inventions or being on the forefront of cutting-edge technology. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent announcements and discoveries taking place around the globe. The US Air Force says real-life force fields are on the horizon. Whether you would rather sit back and enjoy watching The Incredibles, or if seeing the Fantastic Four on your screen is more your thing, from Violet to The Invisible Girl, our TVs have seen plenty of force fields. Though now, according to whispers from the US Air Force, the ever-so-popular science fiction trope could become a reality, in a future that is not so far, far away. An announcement from the Air Force Research Lab released a report in the early summer of 2021 suggesting the force field is within our reach this very century. We seem to be able to cross the threshold between our current weaponry and warfare tactics into the strange and somewhat frightening futuristic weapons we have up until now only been able to imagine. Of course, the mention of a force field was not the only aspect of the Air Force report worth discussing. Plenty of other updates and suggestions came alongside this announcement, all discussing how the military-industrial complex plans on making the most out of directed energy weapons from here on out. The AFRL report presented the claim that the force field technology could be merely decades, if not just years, away from becoming a reality, and that right now we are at a tipping point in the development of weaponry, balancing the huge advancements that we can see are just around the corner but with them out of reach enough that we can continue to develop the less revolutionary equipment we already have in use. The potential force field that we may be able to create sometime soon has been described as umbrella-like. Its purpose would, unsurprisingly, be to deflect missile attacks, localizing several directed energy weapons. In the initial phases, these weapons to make the force fields will be aided by vehicles they will be mounted to. Though in the long term, after more success and as the force field research develops, it is hoped that they can be lifted into space where a laser can attack within set radiuses. The report stated, By 2060, a sufficiently large fleet or constellation of high-altitude systems could provide a missile defense umbrella as part of a layered defense system, if such concepts prove affordable and necessary. This technology would certainly mark an impressive scientific turn Though like any new research, costs could leave the concept with a question mark. While many in the department and in the field hope for this technology to come about in some form or another by 2060, we do not know how quickly these developments can take place between now and then, so predictions are currently little more than excited speculations and shocking new concepts. The current progress shows that there are a number of energy-directed weapons already under construction. It was announced earlier on in 2021 that the US Army is developing what they have dubbed the world's most powerful laser. This laser should be able to use various pulses and signals to interfere with enemy signals and vaporize targets. This laser has the wonderfully catchy name of the Tactical Ultra Short Pulsed Laser for Army Platforms. The hope is that this overwhelming piece of equipment will be one million times more powerful than existing and therefore rival laser platforms. So while we may be lacking some sci-fi elements from your favorite movies and comic books, the weird and wonderful technology is drawing nearer and nearer each day. We might not be fighting with capes and colorful tights, but the weapons, rightly or wrongly, are getting closer to those on the big screen. Artificial Intelligence Study of Human Genome Finds Unknown Human Ancestor As amazing and wonderful as the human brain is, Sometimes there are things that it simply cannot tell us about ourselves without a little extra help. One of the things that scientists rely on artificial intelligence for is extensive analysis of both human and animal genomes to determine relationships and attempt to track the pattern of evolution through the millennia. Recently, one of these artificial intelligence studies discovered the presence of a strange ghost population that predated the human species that we are today. The analysis, which was performed by artificial intelligence using machine learning technology, looked at eight of the current leading models of theorized human evolution and discovered traces of an unknown human ancestor that likely interbred with the Homo sapiens of Asia and Oceania. 
This mysterious population of ancestors was hidden until now, because the only thing remaining to hint at its presence are small, virtually indistinguishable fragments of DNA that remain interspersed within modern human DNA. And it was not until machine learning pointed it out to us. This unidentified ghost population appears to be a descendant of interbreeding between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. Remarkably, the 90,000-year-old fossilized remains of a girl appearing to be the only example of the result of a first-generation mixing between a Neanderthal and a Denisovan was discovered recently, leading scientists to wonder whether she was a forerunner to this newly identified ghost population. The Denisovans themselves were only discovered and catalogued as a species a decade ago, making these subsequent discoveries missing pieces to a very recent puzzle. Scientists have long understood that the early humanoid species interbred with other species as they spread across the globe and encountered each other. Over time, these species gave rise to new species, and then went extinct as the modern Homo sapiens evolved. However, identifying the smaller populations that arose from that interbreeding, such as the unions between the Neanderthals and Denisovans, has proved exceedingly difficult. This recent artificial intelligence discovery pointing to a distinct ancestor of both Neanderthal and Denisovan origins has allowed scientists to begin to understand how introgressions between ancient species caused diversions in the human genome that allowed the painstaking evolution into the first modern-day Homo sapiens to occur. Artificial intelligence was able to make this discovery because of its ability to identify locations of high divergence in the human genome to indicate locations of potential introgressions between species and further compare the genetic material at these locations, a task that would be almost impossibly painstaking otherwise. This is only the latest in a series of examples demonstrating the usefulness of artificial intelligence in genetic research because of the ability to utilize machine learning to accurately analyze and compare millions upon millions of pieces of ancient DNA with the DNA of modern humans, identifying patterns and connections that otherwise would have gone unnoticed. This has allowed scientists to begin the process of resolving some of the questions that have previously been left unanswered in order to piece together our ancient origins. Neuralink co-founder says humanity is going to get wrecked. Concerns regarding AI are becoming more and more evident. As we have more Amazon Alexa units in our homes and self-driving car software, issues as to what will happen when a more advanced AI is eventually developed are being discussed more and more. The prior Neuralink co-founder Max Hodak has made his views clear. Hodak offered this ever so optimistic outlook. We are going to get so wrecked. His concerns focus on the decision-making processes in humans compared to those of artificial intelligence. We have developed systems and structures that work for our societies. Whether these are entirely effective or not isn't necessarily relevant. These structures create a compromise between various groups and settings, and while change could be for the better, could our slow-to-adapt human brains handle it? This was summed up in a tweet in which Hodak said, machines might end up reasoning about their identities and communities super differently. The slow change of existing systems can be seen throughout history, but if we suddenly are forced to become a great deal more flexible and willing than we currently are, then humans as a species may struggle to survive. Again, this argument was concisely written in another tweet, saying, it takes generations to upgrade cognitive technology in human societies. Rather concerningly, Neuralink's latest work seems to be looking at making the line between human and machine far less distinct. This is through the development of brain-computer interfaces. These later research projects, coupled with the string of ominous tweets from Hodak and his recent departure from the company, seems awfully coincidental, with some people considering these tweets warning signs. The cutting-edge technology and being on the verge of breakthrough is truly an exciting time to be witnessing. But what happens when one day someone inevitably pushes too far and the AI becomes too independent, too complex and too dissimilar from ourselves? But what do you make of these three discoveries and announcements? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.